Salutations everybody, it is Matty here today with a follow-up Let's Play styled video. Yesterday we talked about all the brand new Creation Club content that was being added into Fallout 4 and it dropped today. So naturally the only one I care about in here is actually going to be the Fallout 3 Mercenaries package. So I don't know what this is priced at either. I thought it would be best if I gave sort of a raw take as we headed into this Creation Club content. A lot of you guys seemed to enjoy that yesterday. So provided it logs me in, let's see. Oh, okay. 750 Creation Club credits for the Capital Wasteland Mercenaries package. Okay, I was actually pretty surprised that this sits what it, they're not going to charge the 800 like they used to with creation club remember they used to ding you 800 so you had to buy the higher package that's what i was expecting i was wrong they're actually going to only charge me eight bucks for this so we'll see i don't think this is going to be super expensive but we'll find out okay i bought my credits and they're not appearing i'm a little nervous right now <laughs> maybe if i just leave and come back in Oh my god. And I do have my creation club credits. Okay, we're good guys. Bethesda did not steal from me. Let's just buy this because this storefront is not working. So while we wait for it to download, for those who don't know, fight the good fight in the Capital Wasteland by helping a ragtag group of mercenaries defend GNR. This is a significant location from Fallout 3. It includes eight new mercenary outfits, two of each classic Fallout 3 style, veteran, troublemaker, charmer, and adventurer, quest designed by Chris Takahashi, Art support by Rob, Fading Signal, Vogel, and additional art support by Eleonora. So interesting, interesting stuff. Great modders working on this project. So I expect only the best. All right, we got a quest right off the bat upon loading in the good fight. Investigate Lynn Pier parking structure. I really hope they have Fallout 3 music in this mod. If I'm hearing still Fallout 4 tracks in the GNR Plaza, I'm gonna be really upset. I mean, this is by Bethesda. They have the rights to use that music. So if they don't, really big missed opportunity. So I have to use my keyboard and mouse because my controller broke. Everything around me is breaking. Um, but yeah, I'm not the best with keyboard and mouse as uh, we can already see. All right, let's see what you have on you. Sparrows, no. We do have the mercenary outfit on Sparrow, so we'll take that. Oh, oh, geez, all right. We, uh, we don't want YouTube to demonetize this. Man's gotta eat. Okay, so it doesn't offer any defense bonuses whatsoever, probably for balance sake. I like how it looks though, pretty neat. All right, time to find Sparrow's notes amongst literally everything I've looted in this game throughout my hundreds and hundreds of hours. <laughs> and finally, we find Sparrow's note. Let's read it. Well, this sucks. Came here from DC to get help. Talon Company mercs attacked GNR station and with the Brotherhood forces scattered, our assets were exposed. Our only hope was the radio. We sent out an SOS to everyone and anyone asking them to help us fight the good fight. The Commonwealth responded. But it turns out these gunners aren't down for the cause. I would have been a dead woman if I didn't come in for a slow landing. Might still be a dead woman given they are still on my six. In fact, if you're reading this, that means my corpse is too cold for my stim pass. <laughs> so this letter will have to do. If the good fight means something to you, then take this bird and fly off to the Capital Wasteland. Save GNR from the Talon Mercs and shut down the radio before they get on air. And if you see the good man, tell him I'm sorry. Fallout 3 music. They did it. Okay. Yes. They did it. Oh, yeah. This is what I've always freaking wanted, man. Oh. Dude, now I want a Fallout 3 remaster more than anything in my life. Holy smokes. I mean, can't Bethesda look at this and go like, yeah, we should probably remake the whole game. Oh my gosh. Let's get into some combat. Damn, they even got the sandbags here still and everything. I hope it's not just the, can we like go inside? Can we interact with this? No, we can't, okay. Don't tell me we're just gonna fight here. We're just defending it. We're defeating the Talon Company reinforcements. Okay. Sadly, they did not include the Fallout 3 combat music, which is a little strange in the, the scheme of things, right? Because they had the Fallout 3 track for exploration, but not for anything else. Enter Galaxy News Radio. Yeah! All right, we can go inside. Good fighter mercenary. So is this like them expanding the lore, I guess? 
ammo-laden mercenary troublemaker outfit. I like that. All right, let's take a good look at the ammo-laden mercenary troublemaker outfit. Definitely the best one so far. I love how the, the bullets are strapped across both sides of the chest. Really neat. This is awesome, man. Like, this is just as I remember. Oh, man. Like, for the modders, this has to be so cool. Because this is, like, where Fallout started for a lot of us. And to just be working on, like, remaking parts of it. Really cool. Scratch logs. Let's see. There's more lore that we can read. Did you get through the... Okay. Super mutant type words now. Super mutant hands too big for weak puny keys. But man named Joe help. He say he type words super mutant say. Exactly as he say them. So super mutant will kill him last. Super mutant come from Apple Asia. That's why he green. But mutants here, they aren't. So Appalachia, I think is what they're trying to say here. So a little tie into Fallout 76. But that's to trying to... Connect the universe a little bit with Creation Club. I, I kind of find that interesting, even if uh, 76 leaves a lot to be desired. Kill the talent company boss. Oh my, hi. Who's Hatton? Oh, he's dead. He didn't drop a unique weapon, which we already knew about before we even purchased it. We'll take the talent company armor though, why not? All right, let's shut up the transmission. There's also journal entry, so can call for reinforcements. Let's see what it says. We've taken the station and chased the fighters into the nearby buildings, but taking GNR isn't the same as holding it, even with the tunnels blown to shitterines. <laughs> I've established contact with HQ and requisitioned more men, but due to resource crunch, they'll need to be picked from outside DC. Using the old Brotherhood vertebrates, the fighters repaired. I would have pressed HQ for more immediate help, but didn't want to make it seem like I didn't have a handle on the situation. One problem is the autopilot system on the bird we hijacked is malfunctioning, so they'll need to hone in on a signal. As such, we've swapped the radio with our own transmission beacon, which should allow the system to triangulate our location. Okay, so this is when they were calling in for reinforcements. Next, we have Talon Company agent missing. The inside agent who was supposed to help us with the assault either was a no-show or made no attempt to identify herself. Not a surprise, since her reports for the last month have been on the spectrum of misleading to worthless. Let's go ahead and shut off the transmission. And the quest is over. Oh my gosh. That was really, really, really short. How long, how long was that? that? I spent eight bucks for like 20 minutes of nostalgia. <laughs> place has a ton of aqua pura lying around so we'll we'll take that that makes sense right lore love lore the aqua's pure here in dc right post project purity baby oh wait hold on mercy's log so we got some more to read here we have mercenary veteran goggles we'll take those yeah we're gonna get all the loot man for god's sake see i played for like 20 minutes good fighters when word got out gnr was up for grabs people thought it'd be free for all but it hasn't been that way. These good fighters took over the place like cockroaches inheriting the earth. I guess people always assumed the Brotherhood would take it back, but shit changed when the Prigwin left Adams. Now everyone wants a piece, including my employers. Over the past few days, I've gotten in good with the crew. Supposedly, they like to take in orphans and head cases. So the phony memory loss shtick worked well enough. Not sure what to make of this band of misfits just yet, but they obviously won't be able to hold the place when push comes to shove. Not like I give a bleh what happens to them. I'm just here for the DJ. The DJ. My employers knew what they were doing when they hired me. Sure, I'm good at what I do. You don't survive as a slave for 13 years without learning how to smile away your rage. And while some people might be scared to take on a job like this, when you come up from the mud, nothing phases you. But that doesn't mean I'm not bitter about the past. Ever since I got rid of the collar, I've only wanted one thing and one thing only, to kill that zombie son of a bitch who sold me. I didn't give a boop about the station. That was just part of the deal. But the ghoul, the ghoul is mine. Ooh. Was Three Dog a ghoul at some point in time? Or am I just reading too deep into it? I'm just here for the DJ. And the DJ at GNR was Three Dog. And then in the next post, he says the DJ... And he mentions that he's a zombie, a.k.a. a ghoul. Phil Goodman here. Phil Goodman has a terminal next to him. There's a lot of lore here. A lot of lore here. Okay, the good fight. They call me the ghoul of cool, the leader of the good fight, but I'm just taking up the mantle. I didn't start this old jukebox. I'm just playing her song. Oh, this is a follow-up to Three Dog. Okay. Truth is, none of us mercs were around when the fight started, Fallout 3, but maybe that's why it struck a chord now. And with the DJ missing, so okay, Three Dog is missing, 
and the Brotherhood gone, for a short while the airwaves went dead. But we felt we needed to keep the fight going, not just for the wasteland, but for ourselves. We're not selling our souls for caps anymore, but we did real good, like the Lone Wanderer did. We've been inspired to take up the cause, make up for lost time, you dig? I like how they're playing off of Fallout 3 in a lot of ways here. Um, I think I read too deep into the DJ part. So yeah, Three Dogs Disappeared, the mentioning of the Lone Wanderer doing good. Raider Girl, hmm, who's this? The other day the fighters found a raider outside the plaza. The easy thing to do would be to kill her. I mean, this poor girl was freaking out, speaking gibberish, and in no shape to meet the big DJ in the sky. But if we want to fight the good fight, that means getting our playlist right. Not every track is about hacking and whacking. <laughs> we gotta spin the right record, even when it's tough. DJ's outfit. Oh my gosh, hold on. DJ's outfit, right? And then the hat and the glasses. <laughs> they gave you three dogs outfit, yo. I love that. That is awesome. That's a good touch there because that was not mentioned in anything. Let's take a good look at that. Oh yeah. Three dog, let's go. <laughs> So a lot of lore, a lot of good Easter eggs, cool discoveries. The quest was a lot shorter than I would have really liked for it to be, I'll be honest with you, because I still did spend $8 on this, and I don't even think I got an hour out of it. So I wonder if there's anywhere else we can go here outside of this location, the GNR Plaza. So we can go inside this side set of... I think this is formerly a school, because I do remember these desks being here. And I wonder if, imagine Bethesda's doing like some type of Fallout 3 remaster and they just use these assets to pop them into Fallout 4 for a little extra sale. Okay, so the missile launcher is here. Wow, interesting callback there. What is this? Good Fighters Caged Mercenary Veteran Outfit. 15% reduction in action point cost in VAT, plus one strength and agility. That's really good. All right, so now naturally, I'm really curious what else is out there. And because we are on PC, we're just gonna go ahead and walk right through. Definitely built a, a decent amount of world space for this Creation Club content. Here's a, a radio tower. Okay, so now we can see a uh, <laughs> pretty limited area. This, this building alone is impressive that it even, I guess, exists because it's, it's completely brand new assets just to build something that's on the outside of the map. But they put it in clear sight, of course, so that, you know, it wasn't a waste of time. Oh, hold on. Of course we gotta go out here, right? Like, that's that's a no-brainer. We gotta see what this looks like up close and personal. <laughs> it's just floating out there, man. <laughs> Let's get really close to it, see what, uh, see what it really looks like when we're right in front of it. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god, what did I do? Oh no. Oh man, I, d I definitely was not supposed to go out this far. <laughs> I, I think I broke the game. So yeah, I pretty much wanted to make a extended video. Oh my God, I forgot to turn on the collision. <laughs> I wanted to make a extended video showcasing pretty much everything with this Creation Club content because I know $8 is a pretty large asking price and I don't know how many of you will necessarily find it worth it. It certainly tickled the nostalgia a little bit. I mean, this is just alone really, really cool. But at the same time, it's so much money for, I think I barely got an hour out of it. And that was because I was reading everything word for word. I explored every corner. I ran out of the map, right? So like, it's up to you if you really want to support it. It's good content. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that there's not a lot here, which was to be expected. I personally wanted to play it just so that if you guys didn't want to spend the money, you could at least see what was offered here. And I don't think it's one of those cases where if we support it enough, Bethesda will go, oh, maybe we should remaster Fallout 3. So I wouldn't take that route if that's kind of what you were thinking. But uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this longer playthrough video a little more interesting, a little different. And it concludes a, a saga that we've been waiting for for a really long while. A little bit of Fallout 3 love in Fallout 4. Hopefully the next thing we see is an actual re-release or a remaster. Certainly that would be amazing. But I'll end it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you to the patrons for making videos like this possible. I really appreciate all of you for consistently having my back each and every single day. And with all of that out of the way, talk with all of you soon. Stay sexy, stay active, I love you all, peace.